It's Capital Extra with Yinka. I'm joined by Khalid. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, welcome back to the UK. Thank you. I'm so excited to be back. I love it here. We've missed you. I know. It's been <laughs> way too long. I need to come back way more. Yeah, I think that if you just like get a house or something in London, <laughs> you know, casually, you know, right. dro- drop a couple hundred thou, and then <laughs> I'm sure they'll let you come back casually loads. Casually a hundred thou. It's like, <laughs> got you. I'm here. Throw it up, throw it up. I'm a resident. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what brings you to the to the UK? The Brits. Of course. Yeah. Oh, of course you saw it on the red carpet when everyone was singing. Oh my God. Does that make you feel... Because I almost cried when I saw that <laughs> clip. And I'm not you and it's not my song that they were singing on the red carpet. I just think about the growth. It's just, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I remember last time I was doing a show, I think at Hoxton's and it was like, what? Not even like 700 people there. Yeah. And then you come to a place like the Brits and everyone's singing my song and yeah. chanting at me. Yeah. It's crazy. It was amazing. It was beautiful. I think that you should be extra proud of yourself as well, though, because a lot of people get a little bit ignored on the red carpet. Oh, you know, yeah. Because they're looking for Dua. So they're looking for Dua Lipa. <laughs> they're looking for Anne-Marie and they're thinking, get off. Right. I don't care about him. Yeah. So the fact that they were singing your song, you're like, <laughs> you're up there. <laughs> I felt the love. I was like, how can I not run up to them and, and just sing with them right now? Because yeah. it was just so amazing. I'm just like, they didn't have to do that. You know? So <laughs> it's very thoughtful. I appreciate it. And in terms of growth for you as an artist, do you feel a difference now like with <laughs> people's reactions to you? Do you, do you feel like there's more? Ah, oh, no, nah, it still blows me away every time. I do feel like there's a difference. It's like over the past, I mean, it's only been like two and a half, three years. Yeah. And over the past, I just see, I, I see a change in the demographic of people who scream for me. Yeah. Now it's like, there's like people who are like in their 40s and like 50s who are like, I know you. <laughs> and then there's people who are like 10 years old who's like, mom, like I know him. I just think that's just amazing. It's awesome. I think I told you before when you came um, last time that you're my favorite person to follow on Twitter <laughs> because I just think that, because I think you're quite warm oh, and, you. and a lot of people, their online persona mm-hmm. and their it, real life persona don't really match up. Right. But for you, you 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 interact with people. So <laughs> how much screen time do you have on your phone? Because you must stare at it for hours because you do take I the know, effort to I interact know. with people. It's a ridiculous amount. I'm like always on my phone and I, I run my social media so I'm always just like, oh yeah, I got to reply to them. <laughs> and I feel bad because I'm like, oh, I got to reply to them too. And I'll be on Twitter literally replying at like the speed of light. Like, <laughs> Every minute there's a new reply for like 20, 30 minutes. And I love every moment of it. But of course, everything's going really well for you. Yeah. If, if you know, God forbid anything bad happens, at least you know you can manage someone's social media. <laughs> like, you know, everyone always says like you need to have a backup plan. Look, hit me up. I got you. I'll get you. <laughs> Look, I'll get it lit. Don't worry. <laughs> Kelly, we have to talk about the moment at the... Rock Nation brunch oh. where you got a hug from everybody's mum <laughs> everybody's big sister and auntie Beyonce I know, I know it was crazy. have you bathed since then <laughs> I literally went home and it was like I'm never washing this shirt ever <laughs> again in my life it was amazing uh, J and B they're so nice and they're so welcoming and for me they're two people who inspire me in so many different ways um, Beyonce's amazing her look her voice is just out of this world yeah. Jay-Z his lyrics out of this world everything so the fact that I was even in that situation in their presence I was like wow is this a dream where am I what am I doing alright don't get too close <laughs> don't sweat all over her. <laughs> Back up, all right, you're good. Okay, walk away. And then Beyonce's <laughs> like, you're so talented. And then cry. I'm like, oh, I'm frozen now. <laughs> I like, I prepared this moment and now I lost it all. So mm-hmm. now I'm just going to walk away awkwardly. <laughs> there is a bit of an argument going on online at the moment. I'm not sure if you're aware of, in, in the UK anyway, about R&B. Mm. So it's one of our forgotten genres, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I think R&B predominantly has been a US genre mm-hmm. and it's kind of lived very comfortably over there forever yeah. but now the UK R&B singers are standing up and they're like no we want to be counted oh, have that. you have you sort of heard about like obviously you've got LMA who's just like just won oh a Grammy oh my god Ella you got Mahalia yeah like, exactly all of them Georgia so they're coming they're coming they're coming and I love all of it I love Ella is one of my 
I, you probably know like that's one of my like really really good friends yeah. and I really love and I really support her and she came to the Grammys and she won I know and I feel like if that's not a message that R&B is well and alive and I really, yeah. you might as well just pack know. up and go home now yeah, really. yeah because I'm like there's so many extraordinary R&B artists and even in America R&B um, and it's relation with hip hop or even it's relation with pop is very well, you know, undernoticed. Yeah. I feel like people don't necessarily appreciate it as much because everyone thinks that there's nobody doing it. I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of people doing it. You just got to take the time and find out. <laughs> there's so much good R&B music, especially from the UK. And I'm a listener and I'm a supporter. And I mean, look, we got to do whatever we got to do to get these voices heard. Proper. <laughs> Proper. Proper. Because <laughs> they're amazing. <laughs> There's so many good artists. Don't sleep on R&B. Nah. Do you think you and Ella will work together soon? Oh, my God, yes. That will sound so sweet. <laughs> I think I think I'll actually cry when that Oh, happens. my God, yes. She's so amazing. Her voice, her personality. Look, I'm talking her up like I can't just text her right now. I know. She knows how, <laughs> she knows how amazing she is. I tell her all the time. So I would love to work with her. Okay, well, you heard it here on Capital Selection, of course, <laughs> Khalid, Ella May, hopefully going to come soon. <laughs> of course. Um, we need to talk about your single, Talk. <laughs> I love this oh, song. Oh, thank you. And it was, when we spin it quite a lot on Capital Extra, and when I play it, the reaction on Twitter is like, this is what a true song is. <laughs> because for me, you have an old school vibe, you know? Mm -hmm. Not in your content or what you say or the it's just the sound of the yeah. song you know it's very it's sung if you know what I mean <laughs> it's not just like punchlines or yeah. like quirky it's not just catchy yeah. is that does, does, does it take like a lot of effort when it goes into into writing a song like talk for me I feel like it was very natural and effortless working with Disclosure like I love Disclosure so yeah. much they're so awesome and they're so, so lovely. talented and I just came in and I'm like wow this beat just makes me feel like this. And sometimes I'll, I'll write a song in like five minutes, just like based off of just the feeling. I'll go in, I'll sing the whole melody, like no words. Like I don't even focus on the words. Whole melody. I'm like, this is how this song makes me feel right now. Like these are the <laughs> notes this, this beat makes me feel right now. Then I'll go in and I'm like, okay, let's decipher it. Let's put the words together. Let's see what we can make. That's how talk came. And for me, that's one of my favorite songs I've ever done because I'm really giving an ode to just, you know, a different side of my inspiration, especially the R&B side. I feel like it's just like one of those, you know, bops, those jams, the yeah. cookout joints, you the know. Sl the slow grind. Yeah, 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 yeah. all of that. <laughs> and I'm just, I mean, I'm so happy and excited that I get to be a part of reintroducing that side of music to people. Yeah. You are so young, so how do the lyrics come because it's like <laughs> it's not exactly from you know every song can't be life experience oh, yeah, nah, nah. it can't be because you, you'd be exhausted <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd be very tired so how does that how does that happen is it just from people around is it just I feel like I mean I keep the same friends I had from the jump yeah I remember you told me before yeah, I'm happy that you're still mates I'm happy the <laughs> money hasn't you. changed you thank you thank you <laughs> one of my best friends is literally right there just Hello. in the corner so you know I talk to them and I, I gather their life experiences and I'm like, what are you going through? What's going on in your mind? Like, what's making you happy? What's making you sad? All of it, I take it in as inspiration. Luckily, I travel the world and I meet so many amazing fans who are real human beings with real stories just as much as anybody else, you know? And so they talk to me all the time about what they're going through. I'm like, hmm, okay, I got to write about it. Yeah. Everyone, I feel like everyone deserves their song. And I feel like I want to be that artist who gives every individual type of person their go-to song of mine. Because I feel like I'm here to help people with my music and I'm here to make people feel good. And if that's making you dance, it's making you dance, you know? If that's like making you cry a bit to get it out of your system and then keep pushing, then that's what we got to do. It's just about the power of music and just making sure that I use my power, <laughs> whatever <laughs> it is, in the right way.